Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all having a beautiful day. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create Star Wars movie title text intro effect in After Effects. If you are Star Wars fan, then you must learn this effect, and you can use it on your own video. It will look super good. Before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Select new composition. I will use the 1080 pixel resolution and 25 frames. 40 second duration. I will name it as Star Wars title. Click OK. Now we will drag our stock photo onto our composition panel. Drag it onto the timeline. Here we have this cluster of stars image. Just like the movie, we will now start animating our text. Take the text tool here. I am using a font called Death Star and the color is yellow. You can use the exact same color, in the color code bar, type in F, F, E, A, 0, 0, click OK. Now type in Star Wars. We will place our anchor point in the center. Press Ctrl Alt Home on your keyboard to place it in the center. Place our text in the center too. Select the text layer and press S to bring the scale option. Increase its size until you can't see it. Now we can't see our text. Make sure the time indicator is at the start. Keyframe the scale. Place the playhead at 8 second. Change the scale to 20%. As you see our text is looking small. Let's play it and see how it looks. That looks good, but as you see our animation at the end is super fast. We will fix that now. Right click on this keyframe. In the keyframe assistant, select easy ease. Select both the keyframes and click on this graph icon. You can see here, we have this slop graph which represents the keyframes time speed and duration. We will use this to fix that fast ending. Click on this point. Now pull this tangent point all the way to the end. Let's play it. That looks good. We now fixed our text ending. You can increase its animation time by dragging this endpoint to the right. Again let's play it. That looks perfect. Now click on the graph icon to go back to our timeline panel. As you see our scale is turned back to zero, we will change it back to 20%. We will now give our text that fade out transition to it. Place the playhead one second before the end keyframe. 
Select the text layer and press T on your keyboard to bring the opacity. Keyframe the opacity. Take the playhead to the end keyframe and change the opacity to 0%. Now we created that fade out transition on our text. We will create our text sliding effect just like in the movie. Take the text tool here. Click on this top right corner and type in the sentence you want. I will use this paragraph of dialogue from the movie which is typed before. I will copy it and paste it on our, our text layer. Press Ctrl V to paste it. We will decrease its size. Arrange it like a proper paragraph. Once you done, we will now animate this text group. Select the text layer and press P to bring the position. Bring it down a little. To get that slanting text effect, we have to convert our text layer into a 3D layer. To do that just click on this third box to enable the 3D option. Now we turned our layer to 3D. Here in the X rotation we will change it to minus 80. Adjust the rotation until you get that perfect slanting text look. Once you done, press S to bring the scale. Increase it to until it fit with our screen edges. Bring this group text down until you can't see any. Keep changing the scale size to make it fit. Again bring it down. Now our text are completely off our screen. We will keyframe our scale and press U on your keyboard to bring other options. We will keyframe our anchor point. Place the playhead after 36 seconds in the right. Use the anchor point and bring our text. Keep pulling it until the end. As you see our text is too high in the top and it looks little out of focus. Change the X rotation until you get that perfect look. Now let's play it. We can again push down a little. That looks super good. We now created that text moving in space effect. We will now make our text disappear in the space at the end, just like the movie. For that select the star layer and press Ctrl D to duplicate this layer. Take the duplicated star layer to the top. As you see our text are now completely hidden behind our star layer. We will create a mask. Take this pen tool here. Make a shape at the top like this. We will now bring this top mask all the way to the top. Shift select these two points and drag it to the top.
Now if I move the playhead, you can see that our text are completely going into the deep space and it gives that disappearing effect because of the mask. We will now trim this layer to 26 second. By doing this we can avoid getting our mask conflicting with our Star Wars text at the start. Now let's play it and see the result. That looks super good. We want our text group to start appearing when our Star Wars text about to fade into the space. For that we will drag this text layer to the left until we start to see our texts on the screen. That looks fine. Let's play it one last time and see the final result. That looks amazing. We now created our Star Wars movie title animation and it looks awesome. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. I will say this again and again, your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me and I will work even more harder. Thank you. We are finally at the end of our tutorial, I hope you enjoyed this video, you can always download all my project files on Patreon, link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this, please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section, I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this, hit the like button if you like this video, until our next tutorial stay happy, thank you.